Hi, I'm Jahara. Welcome to my channel. And these are my first impressions of Old Charlian. Let's go. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, welcome to this walkthrough. Okay, we're here in Old Charlene. Oh, the Etherite Plaza looks just like it did in like literally just the previous photo. It's gorgeous. I love the shape. Okay, so we're going to the marketplace. I love how close this is to the Etherite, and I think I see like two market boards, and it's like to the direct right of the Etherite. So it's gonna be so close, super convenient, just like Limsa Lamensa. Oh my gosh, look at this cat girl with her purple hair and her braid. I love this. I can't believe, uh, just imagining how busy this area is gonna be. Like once this is a city hub, hello. <laughs> he reminds me of a Madeleine. <laughs> oh look, there's a mender right here and then unassuming individual, whoever she'll become. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. I love like the blue stone. It really says seaport city, it says seaport city here. Oh, look at this. This lady's shop is how I wish the inside of my fridge looked, but it doesn't. It doesn't at all. He's eating an apple. Fantastic for him. All of these are going to be amazing shops. This is a really nice market area. Hello, dapper. Very dapper. Okay, yeah. So, to, I think I just saw to my left and to the right. Yes, there they are. What I believe are going to be market boards. Uh, I might eat my words. I'm not the be-all end-all of this, but that would be super convenient looking at how close they are to the ETH, right? They kind of are made to look like book stands. Shoot, they might actually be book stands for all I know, but if they end up being market boards, that would be super cool. It's just this little person. Hello. <laughs> okay, so now I'm running back out to kind of like the main area. I still didn't really know where I wanted to go. Um, after having arrived here, so I was just trying to get my bearings, but I just kept imagining loading into this area and just how stunning it is. It was kind of giving me a mix of Limsa Lamensa, obviously because of the port town, but also some of the architecture and the metal work and, and coloring was a little bit reminiscent of the Crystarium. Do you know? I don't know if it's maybe the grandeur of all of the things. Like, just look at this. Absolutely look at this. All of the gold. It might just be like the gold accents in the metal. Oh, okay. So the new Etherite system. I love this. The map comes up in the Etherite system. This is so helpful for me because I would sometimes forget where I was going and have to log out, go back into the go back into the map, then remember. Ooh, now we're at the studium. Okay beautiful awesome it's called the phenomenon i couldn't figure out what this building was at first but once we head into the hallways i think i was able to get a clue of kind of where this area is i don't know what we call these in our other hub cities but this is like where all of like the different um guilds and stuff are so like the carpenters and the astrologers and stuff so this one here um culinarians maybe there's fish and knives and filleted fish oh my <laughs> but look at the floor wow oh and like was a bath a hand washer thing it's cool i like it i want them in all of my rooms and an amazing fish tank with no fish fantastic let me know like what y'all think these are for you might knew, know a lot better than me the center one scholar what do you think mm. and over here <gasps> crafting and gathering i don't know there's like a ladder we have a tree maybe there'll be apples on the tree i see like some plants here a shovel okay so here we went into one of the classrooms in the area so this must be like the school i came down here to the front and i was just like Alpha no, stop being a know-it-all and let the other students answer the questions for once. <laughs> okay, this, this screams astrologin to me, at least on like the left side over here. Cause look, look at the maps. Could you imagine like Uriange standing over here with like all of the maps in his fantastic outfit? 
lovely. Mm -hmm. A saw because astro Astros need saws, she says with lots of assuredness. Here we're cooking. Oh, looks fantastic. Over here. Wow. Maybe this is, um, gosh, the blacksmiths, metal workers. Well, I don't know why I can't think of it, but this area is going to be so beautiful. It's going to be filled with so many people. It's stunning. Look at like the waterfall in the back, please. So grandiose, tall ceilings. So at this point, I started thinking of Graha, and I wanted to find out where he was, like, you know, in that area in the trailer where like you go into that big building, and then he's like down in the basement. So I found this place very close to where I just was and it's called the Nomenon. We're here. Stunning. Freaking library. Look at the flooring. Oh. Oh, and these like clear panels with the blow glowing blue that have like the same like nautical shape as the Ethrite. Chef's kiss, chef's kiss. And then we have these NPCs, which I've seen a couple times as I was running around the city. Look, look at them, look at him run. I had to follow because he runs so cute. I have no idea what these are, but they're peppered all around the city, so I can't wait to find out. Okay, our Lalafels and our small bookshelves. I also loved that all of the Charlians were wearing the same outfits that you get in like Idleshire, which makes sense, canonically, right? But I thought that that was a nice touch. It wouldn't let me go downstairs, so we're just gonna have to leave and visit Girl Hut another time. Okay, the Valdesian Annex. I couldn't figure out what this area was for immediately. There's a mender, awesome. But if y'all know, um, or you think you know, let me know. I'm just a huge fan of like this marble look with the green flooring. Oh. Everything is just so grand feeling. Honestly, it's exactly what you would imagine when you think of like where Alphino grew up. Okay, so now we're in the Rostra. This is where our beautiful girl Ishtola showed up in the trailer standing. So you know I had to go stand where she was standing. Here we are, standing where the queen herself was standing, being amazing, talking back to Daddy Levior. Fantastic. It's really big, it's round, and the halls are just, just so big. Everything's so big. Look at this view. Everything's amazing. So the Levior estate, we have to go see where Alfie and Alize grew up see what made Alpha No so stuck up in ARR. But look at this! Look at the little, little, little. <laughs> I was like, I get it. I get it, kid. I get why you were so stuck up. This is where you were raised. Look at this floor. Look at these walls. Look at these stairs. Look at all of the flowers. Who maintains all of these flowers? Look at this view. You probably just stood up here looking down on everybody all the time. I would. That's what I would do. Wow. I kind of get it. So this is right outside the Love Year's house because it's Ox Landing and I love this area. I can definitely see my friends and I like, hey, meet me at the fountain right outside of the Love Year estate. Gorgeous. There's benches. I'm sure that this looks absolutely stunning at night. You can see the sea from here. And then it's also next to the residential area, which we're behind some of the houses and you can see the docks from here. And it's just, I love what is like equivalent to the Statue of Liberty over there. These are some residential houses that are next to that area. Um, I wasn't able to go on them at the time, but I'm excited to see who lives in these places. Okay, so let's head over to Scholar's Harbor. I was super excited to be here. This, this is like the first thing you see, you know, when it opens up in the trailer and stunning. So I don't know, you see that little that lady with the crystals? There are a lot of those throughout the city. They truck around crystals. Okay, so let's head to the cafe that we just saw in that photo. Look, tell me you do not see our girls, Reen, Gaia, having coffee biscuits here. That's all I see. We need to bring them for coffee biscuits. Also, if they're not here, me and my friends can have coffee biscuits. Gorgeous. Again, the architecture is really reminiscent of some of the areas in the Crystarium, but also very Limsa Limensa. Colorful fruits, colorful foods. Love the designs on the table. Everything is just so intricate to the hardwood floors, just all of the chef's kisses. So we have the sailboats out on the edge. A little bit of land more to our right. So if we kind of head down, I wanted to see what this building was at the edge. Uh, can't enter it at 
yet, but when we get a chance, I'm so excited to figure out what goes on in here. It looks tall. I feel like it'll give us kind of a, a good vantage point. So here's a close up of the wonderful statue. You know, I never thought about it, but I wonder who the statue is. Hmm. This long run from the statue building. You could enter that, so we have to see what that is later. Stunning. Look at this area. It's kind of in the middle. Worldly affairs. I feel like we're going to have some quests here. This is also a good meetup spot. Easy to find. Look at these big pirate ships. It's like Limsa. And smaller ships. Oh, there's another one of those pompadoured Lalafell looking NPCs. <laughs> I just, I love, I love Ochalain. It's going to be a fantastic hub city. I can't wait to live. To, not, well, I won't be able to live here, but I can't wait to just basically be here all the time. Absolutely stunning. They really outdid themselves with this city. All of the adventures we're going to have. <laughs> I love it.